Hello guys, welcome back to another PC Noobs video and in this video I'm going to show you on how to install or update your AMD chipset drivers. So before we begin, um, why is it important to install your AMD chipset drivers? So the AMD chipset drivers are essential drivers that provide communication between the operating system and the hardware components of your system such as the processor, motherboard, and then your peripherals. So these ensure your system runs smoothly and all hardware components are functioning correctly. So to begin, how do I know first um, if I have an AMD system? So I would recommend just opening up the search button and then type system information. Now this will pop up a window right here. And, and as you can see, I am using a uh, processor here my AMD Ryzen 7 of uh, the 700X so this is how I know that I'm using a AMD um, system and also if you check here for the base board product I'm using the B450M Modern Max so take note of the number which is B450 here so yours may vary so it can be another uh, value so for this system I'm using an um, AMD system now let's go exit so take note for uh, for the number b450m then exit now open up your browser and type amd chipset drivers go now select the first link which will be the amd drivers and support and for here i would like you to specify uh, here with these menus um your chipset um driver so just select chipsets here then I'm going to select my um, socket here AM4 and then B450 here so these are uh, so this is my motherboard so it really depends on your motherboard so make sure that you research about your motherboard on what socket it is using so mine is an AM4 um, socket system so click on submit and it will lead you to this uh, page so b450 drivers and support so uh, it depends on what windows version you're on so mine is windows 11 so i'll choose this one then just choose the top uh, the uh, this uh, link here so this is the revision number so this is the version of the chipset driver file size and then the release date so another question is how do i know if my chipset driver is uh, outdated or using the previous version so all you have to do is just type to your search uh, menu here installed apps now this will open and just search amd and i can see my amd software so this is the graphics driver and this is the chipset software so my version is 5.05 .05. Now, the one listed in the website is 5.08. So that's when I know that this is a newer version. And as you can see here, these are the supported uh, processors, then the chipsets here, so B450. And also I'm using a Ryzen 5000 series desktop processor. Now, right now I'm just going to click download here and I'm going to save it in my downloads folder. Now it is um, already downloaded. I'm going to open it. So if you have uh, any questions, uh, please feel free to comment down below. Now let's wait for this to finish unpacking. Okay, so now um, it will present to you the chipset software installer. So it is checking our PC hardware for driver compatibility. Okay, so once it is done scanning as you can see every box here is checked so i recommend turning everything on or everything is checked right here so just turn everything on and then i'm just going to click install now let it install and then just wait okay so now it is finished uh, installing you can check the installation log and also the view installation summary so I can just click on the view installation summary and as you can see it provides an overview on the packages here that has been installed. So as you can see the AMD processor power management support is failed because 
for Ryzen 5000 series processors. They do not use the AMD process, uh, processor power management anymore. So uh, for those who have an um, AMD 5000 processor, you will not see the, uh, the AMD uh, power plants. So it is not needed overall. So uh, the AMD processor power management support is only applicable to uh, previ uh, previous generations of AMD processors. But the rest is successful. So that's nice to know. So after that, I recommend um, restarting your computer after installing the Gypsy driver. Okay, so I finished uh, restarting my computer. So to check if you have the latest version or check the version uh, currently. Now let's go back to our installed apps. Let's open right here. Now type EMD. And as you can see, I'm now using the version 5.08, which is the latest version for my chipset driver. So there you go guys, uh, that's all for this uh, video. So if you have any questions, please consider comment down below and by liking this video and, and also subscribing, it will be very helpful. Thank you and have a nice day. See you in the next video.